Hi everyone. Today we are going to study the path length of a tree. What is the path length of a tree? So the path length of a tree can be defined as the sum of the path lengths from the root to all pendent vertices. In a simple language, it is nothing but the length of the path of all the pendent vertices starting from the root till the pendent vertices so what is path length nothing but the length of the path starting from the root till the pendent vertices the sum of all such path lengths of all the paths from the root to the pendent vertices gives you the path length so say for example you have five pendent vertices in a tree so in that case the sum of all the paths starting from the root of the tree till all these five pendent vertices will give you the path length of the tree if we look at this figure here you can see this is a binary tree which is a four level binary tree having 13 vertices so i can say this is a 13 vertex four level binary tree here you can see that this is the root of the tree and what are the pendant vertices the vertices denoted by p give you the pendant vertices as i have already told you you all know what pendant vertices are pendant vertices are those vertices which have degree one further one more distinguishing feature of a pendant vertex is that a pendant vertex will never have an outgoing edge that means no edge will branch out from a pendant vertex here you can see this vertex has no outgoing edge this vertex has no outgoing edge this vertex has no outgoing edge and same for these four vertices so any vertex which has degree one and of course then it will not have any outgoing edge branching out from it such a vertex is called a pendant vertex so all these vertices denoted by p here are the pendant vertices so if i want to find out the path length of the pen uh, of this particular tree in that case i will first of all have to find the path length from the root to all the pendant vertices like the path length from root to this pendant vertex then the path length from root to this pendant vertex then the path length from root to this pendant vertex then the path length from root to this pendant vertex and this pendant vertex then the path length from root to this pendant vertex and this pendant vertex separately and then i will sum the path all these path lengths and this way i will get the path length of the tree so let's see how we will do that now you can see here that the path length of this pendant vertex is 1 now what is path length first of all how do you calculate the path length of a particular pendant vertex path length is nothing but the number of edges starting from the root till that pendant vertex so whatever is the number of edges in uh, starting from the root to that particular pendant vertex is the path length of that particular pendant vertex like in case of this pendant vertex there is only one edge from the root to this pendant vertex so the path length of this particular pendant vertex is 1 then let's find out the path length of this particular pendant vertex if i consider this pendant vertex the path length is the number of edges from the root till this pendant vertex so how many um, edges do i have in between 1 2 and 3 so the path length of this pendant vertex is 3 now if i consider this pendant vertex its path length is 1 2 and 3 there are total 3 edges starting from the root till this pendant vertex so 1 2 and 3 so the path length of this pendant vertex is also 3 now if i consider this particular pendant vertex what is its path length 1 2 3 and 4 so the path length of this pendant vertex is 4 and if i consider this pendant vertex what is its path length 1 2 3 and 4 
the path length of this pendant vertex is 4 now let's see this particular pendant vertex the path length of this pendant vertex is 1 2 3 and 4 so the path length of this pendant vertex is 4 now let's look at this last pendant vertex of this tree its path length is 1 2 3 and 4 so now I'll add the path lengths of all these pendant vertices which gives me 23. So I can say that the path length of this tree is 23. So this is how you find out the path length of a tree. That is first of all you in find out the individual path lengths of all the pendant vertices and then you sum up those path lengths that gives you the path length of the tree. Let's look at some uh, find out some other path lengths also. If I consider this particular tree so the formula is same. First of all I will find out all the pendant vertices. So in this particular binary tree this, 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 this and this. All the vertices denoted by P are my pendant vertices. Now first of all I will find out the individual path lengths of all these pendant vertices which is 2, 2, 3, 3, 3 and 3. Right. How did I find this? The path length of this pendant vertex is 1 and 2 which I have written here. Then the path length of this pendant vertex is also 1, 2, 2. Now the, the path length of this pendant vertex is 1, 2 and 3. The path length of this pendant vertex is 1, 2, 3. The path length of this pendant vertex is 1, 2, 3. The path length of this pendant vertex is 1, 2, 3. So now I have found the individual path lengths of all the pendant vertices. Now I will sum up those path lengths which gives me a total value of 16 which is the path length of this particular binary tree. Similarly, if I look at this particular tree, this particular binary tree, I can find first of all to find out the path length of this tree, I will find out all the pendant vertices. So clearly you can see that these are all the pendant vertices. This, 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 this and this. These are the pendant vertices, right? Now I will find out the path length of these individual pendant vertices first of all. So the path length of this pendant vertex is 1. The path length of, length of this pendant vertex is 1, 2. The path lengths are written adjacent to the pendant vertices also. So the path length of this pendant vertex is 1 and 2. The path length of this pendant vertex is 1, 2 and 3. The path length of this pendant vertex is 1, 2, 3, 4. The path length of this pendant vertex is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And the path length of this pendant vertex is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this way I have found the path length of all the individual pendant vertices. When I sum up all these path lengths, I get a value 20, which is the path length of this binary tree or this tree. Now, let's look at weighted path length. What is weighted path length? In some applications, every pendant vertex, Vj, that is if I denote a pendant vertex with Vj, then in some applications it says every pendant vertex denoted by Vj of a binary tree has associated with it a positive real number which is denoted as Wj. So in some cases every pendant vertex will be associated with some 
positive real number which is denoted by wj so this positive real number denoted by wj is called the weight of the pendant vertex this positive real number denoted by wj is called the weight of the pendant vertex vj so how do you then calculate the path length so the path length of the binary tree in such a case where every pendant vertex is associated with a weight is calculated like this so it will be the sum of all the weights and path lengths right the weight of the individual pendant vertex into or the weight of the individual pendant vertex multiplied by the path length of that individual pendant vertex the sum of all such products of the weight and path length of the indi individual pendant vertices will give you the path length of the tree so here lj is the level of the pendant vertex lj here represents the level of the pendant vertex vj and the sum is taken then over all the pendant vertices so let's look how do you find the weighted path length let's look over here if i consider this particular example now this is the root and if i want to find out the pendant vertices i can clearly see this is one pendant vertex this is another pendant vertex this is one pendant vertex and this is one pendant vertex so first of all i have found out all the pendant vertices in this binary tree i have 1 2 3 4 pendant vertices now the next task is to find out the level or the path length of the pendant vertices right so there is one edge between this pendant vertex and this root so the weight so the path length of this pendant vertex is 1 right and the weight of this pendant vertex is 0.5 so i will write 1 multiplied by 0.5 plus the path length of the next pendant vertex is 1 and 2 so here i will write the path length and the weight is already given so the path length multiplied by 0.3 for this pendant vertex then if i come at this pendant vertex its path length is 1 2 3 so 3 multiplied by the weight of this pendant vertex which is 0.05 now next i co come on to this particular pendant vertex the path length of this pendant vertex is 1 2 and 3 so 3 multiplied by the weight of this pendant vertex which is 0.5 the so, so the sum of the products of the path length of the pendant vertex and their respective weights gives you the path length of a weight gives you the path length of weighted pendant vertices so in those cases where you have weighted pendant vertices the path length that is calculated is called the weighted path length of the tree so this way i have calculated the weighted path length of this particular tree which is 1.7 for any confusion you can look at the formula again the path length of a weighted Uh, the path length of a tree in case you where you have weighted pendant vertices is the sum of the products of the weights of these pendant vertices and the path length of the pendant vertices sum of the weight of the pendant vertices sum of the product of the weight of the pendant vertices and the path length of the pendant vertices right so path length is obviously calculated by the level of the pendant vertices because the level is determined by the number of edges in between the root and that uh, particular vertex and that is the only way you calculate the path length also by calculating the number of edges between the root and that particular pendant vertex so you can call it the level of the tree or you can call it the path length of the tree lj here represents the level of the tree or um, sorry you can lj here represents the level of the pendant vertex or the path length of the pendant vertex so you can either call it the level of the pendant vertex or the path length of the pendant vertex it is the same thing to avoid any confusion you can call it the path length of the pendant vertex so this is nothing but the 
path length of what of the pendant vertex and you find out the path length of the tree by finding out the sum of the product of the weight of the pendant vertex and the uh, path length of the pendant vertex and this gives you the path length of the binary tree. Now let's look at one more tree. This is also a tree with weighted pendant vertices. So these are all the pendant vertices. This is the pendant vertex, pendant vertex, pendant vertex and pendant vertex. So I am now I know what are my pendant vertices. So first of all and then I am already provided with the weight. Weight I will always be provided with. So the weight of this pendant vertex is 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 is the weight and the path length is 1 and 2. I have written the path length in front of the pendant vertex. It is 1 and 2. So 2 into 0 0.05 plus then the this pendant vertex the weight is 0 0.5 and the path length is 1 and 2 which I have already written in front. So 2 into 0 0.5. Then this pendant vertex the weight is 0 0.15 and the path length is 1 and 2 which I have already written in front of this pendant vertex. So 2 into 0 0.15 and the last pendant vertex its weight is 0 0.3 so 0 0.3 and then the path length of this particular pendant vertex is 1, 2 which I have written in front of it. So 2 into 0 0.3 that means the weight that means the weight into the path length of the pendant vertex weight into the path length of the pendant vertex weight of the pendant uh, weight of the pendant vertex into the path length of the pendant vertex weight of the pendant vertex into the path length of the pendant vertex and the sum of all these weights and path lengths of individual pendant vertices gives me the weight uh, gives me the path length of the tree so this way I found that the path length of this particular tree is 2. So this is how you can find out the weighted path length of a tree.